This next example is from the xkcd.com cartoon, and it was reprinted with um, permission from the author of said cartoon, which is very nice of him. And it's deceptively simple, but it actually illustrates a whole bunch of different ideas from sections 10.1 and 10.2. So let's look at it. So it says, jelly brains cause acne. Scientists will investigate. But we're playing Minecraft. Fine. <laughs> Which I find cute. All right. So we found no link between jelly beans and acne. And you see right there, P greater than 0.05. Hmm. So that's P value. And then they're saying it's greater than 0.05. So that's implying a level of significance. And he says, well, that settles that. And she says, I hear it's only a certain color that causes it. And he says, scientists, but Minecraft, they want to play. All right. So that part of the joke's over. So we found no link between purple jelly beans and acne. So see the P is greater than 0.05. Then it'd be brown jelly beans, P greater than 0.05, pink ones, blue ones, teal ones, and so on. So let me highlight all these P greater than 0.05s because there's something going on there that we want to discuss regarding both P value and level of significance. I'm going to make sure I get the sharp end of my highlighter here. So you can see they're doing all these different colors. Now you might think, oh, this is silly. You know, nobody's ever done this. Oh, but it was done because I'm old enough to remember when I was a child, there were no red M&Ms. They didn't exist. They didn't sell them. And it was actually a problem very similar to this, uh, w whether the food coloring that was being used back in the day for red M&Ms caused cancer in children. And it was believed that it did, so they took it off the market. And there's a lot of debate about whether or not that was the fact or if it was something like what's going on in this example. So even though it might seem kind of silly, this actually happened, right? real life. If you talk to old people, they will tell you there were no red M&Ms when we were, when we were young, they did not exist. All right. So let's talk about this whole P greater than 0.05 thing that we keep seeing. So let's look at that for a second, because that'll illustrate P value and alpha. So you can see they're saying the P value is greater than 0.05, which is telling us that this must be our alpha. So alpha is the probability of a type 1 error it's your level of significance it's the probability of a false positive right a false positive result and it's the level of significance right all of those things that we learned in section 10.1 and then started using really in section 10.2 so when you see all these little 0.05s, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, that lets you know that alpha was 0.05 for all of these tests. They're not telling us the p-values. All they're telling us is that they're greater than 0.05, and therefore we would not reject H0. Right? Not Speaking of which, what would be the H0 and the H1 for this particular case? Um, I didn't really establish that. I can do it up here. So H0 would be assuming that whatever color of jelly bean does not cause cancer, or whatever this is, acne, sorry, acne. It was cancer in real life with the M&Ms. And then H1 would be that the jelly bean causes acne. Remember, like in screening tests, the negative is actually the null hypothesis. So right, this would be a screening test. So we would have um, a negative for H0 and a positive for H1. We learned that in section 10.1 as well. So sorry, I should have established those ahead of time. The H1, H0 would be that the jelly bean does not cause cancer because you assume that to be true unless you can prove otherwise. And so they want to prove otherwise and see if they can get one color of jelly bean off the market. And so they're having all these p-values be greater than 0.05, which means, you know, all these different, first of all, jelly beans in general, not causing um, acne. And then all these other kinds of jelly beans, not causing acne, not causing acne, not causing acne, no problem, no problem, no problem. All right, except there's one that I did not highlight that I wanted us to look at, which is this one right here. And I saved the green color on purpose because it's green jelly beans. 
right there. And they say, oh, we did find the link there. RP is less than 0.05. Hmm. Okay, so what's going on there? So is it true that green jelly beans should be banned, right? Well, probably not, because there's something else going on here. Let me write that question down one second. Oh, but you can see it down below. Green jelly beans are linked to acne. See this right here? So green jelly beans linked to acne. They have little green jelly beans in there. And of course, you can imagine they're going to say, right, only 5% chance of coincidence. See that? See that piece right there? That's talking about alpha. That's talking about your level of significance. 5%. 0.05. And so they're claiming it in the headlines. Oh, there's only a 5% chance of it by coincidence. Yeah, but that's that doesn't necessarily mean what you think, right? So if there's a 5% chance of coincidence, that doesn't mean that we should ban green jelly beans. That means that there's a 5% chance of a false positive. Hmm. So this result was negative, 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 negative. All these results are negative. We have 20 tests here. 21 if you include the one at the top. So 20 different tests only one of them is positive. Nineteen were negative. One was a positive result. And positive meaning not necessarily a good thing. It means we rejected H naught. And so all of these other tests we did not reject H naught. So the question arises, should we ban green jelly beans, right? What do we think is going on here? Well, this is most likely a false positive, right? We say there's a 5% chance of a false positive. So instead of saying this is only a 5% chance of coincidence, they could say, and there's a 5% chance of false positive, and this one's probably it because <laughs> we did 20 studies. Let's think, what is one out of 20? 0.05, right? Here, in case you don't believe me. I mean, why wouldn't you believe me, really? But if I take one and I divide it by 20, see? So what's happening here? Should we ban jelly beans? So should green jelly beans be banned? And I would say no if they're the apple flavor, because I really love the apple flavor. <laughs> should beans be banned? And the answer to that is probably not, right? What's happening is the green jelly bean positive result is most likely a false positive. So you want to be very aware of that when you see headlines like this, um, you know. Oh, and one other thing real quickly, which I mentioned up in the instructions, was the confidence level. Do you see it? Because if you have an alpha of 5%, this is back to chapter 9, that means that you have 95% confidence, right? Because C level is 1 minus alpha, remember? So it's 1 minus 0 0.05, so it's 0 0.95. So they're saying all of those things to make it seem like they understand more, right? They're trying to say all of that to make it seem like it's more certain. Like, oh, yeah, we really know. We're 95% confident. Uh, uh, uh. But if they don't tell you that, yeah, we did it 20 times and only one of them came out this way, then that's within our threshold of 5%. That's probably a false positive, right? So... Because our rate of false positive is 5%, which is equal, <laughs> and, right, and the green jelly beans result was 1 out of 20. Oop, sorry, that was off screen. It's most likely that that green jelly bean is not 
real results. And it should definitely not be proclaimed in the news like this. And this stuff happens all the time. This is why you see, you know, coffee is bad for you. Coffee is good for you. Coffee is bad for you. Science is just doing its thing. But people read those results and read more into them than they should. Right? They see 95% confidence and they kind of make that, well, then it's certain. That's, that's not what's going on. Um, the results are what they are. And then you have to interpret them based on the context of all the other results, all the other things that were done. And that is usually lacking when you see headlines on Facebook or on um, Twitter or on whatever social media app you're getting your news from or, heaven forbid, an actual news organization site or things like that. A lot of the time, people are just reading what they want to read and kind of ignoring the context and ignoring the fact that this is going to happen. Right? We can't make it zero. We learned that in 10-1. False positives occur, so maybe we shouldn't bend ourselves out of shape and start banning red M&Ms all over the place just for perhaps a false positive. Or in this case, green jelly beans getting banned, which would be a bad result, of course. 